What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and this is the Gram 15, which is the lightest 15 inch laptop ever, coming in at just over one kilogram. I did review their previous version of the LG Gram last year and I wasn't really impressed. However, I'm happy to say that LG has listened to our feedback and improved their 2017 model. The one I'm using in this video is running on the KB Lake i7-7500U. We got 16 gigs of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD for storage, and a touchscreen 1080p IPS display. However, they do have other models and colors to choose from, ranging all the way down to a 13 inch version with several color options. And also, the price of the new LG Gram laptops start at $1,200, depending on the size and specs. The build quality is a lot better than last year's version. Built with magnesium alloy, it's pretty durable considering how thin and light the laptop is. The screen does have a bit of flex, which is to be expected, while the keyboard area has a lot less flex than last year. Also, the hinge is well made, a definitely improvement since now you can open it with just one hand. For its size and weight, it's definitely a sturdy laptop. I'm not complaining here. However, if you're gonna be traveling with it, I strongly recommend using a laptop bag for that extra protection. The one I'm using in this video is something I really recently purchased on Amazon just for this laptop and it's awesome. If anyone is interested in checking it out, I'll drop a link to it down below. For connectivity, we have a lot of options. On one side, we got a USB 3, HDMI, and a USB Type-C, which is great if you want to hook up to an external 4K monitor and charge the laptop at the same time. On the opposite side, we got one more USB 3.0 and a regular 2.0 along with the headphone jack and a micro SD card slot. They also included an Ethernet dongle. One of the major improvements from last year's model is the battery life. According to PC Mark's work benchmark, it lasted 7 hours and 16 minutes of simple office productivity tests, from typing up Word documents, making spreadsheets, coding, and a bunch of other tasks. However, I did take this to my mom's house for the weekend where it lasted me a solid 12 hours of light use, from watching YouTube videos to writing scripts for my videos and even checking emails. The brightness level was around 80% and I left the power plan on LG Optimize by default. I was very impressed with the battery life and it's a good thing too because I did leave the charger back at home on purpose. The screen on the laptop is great. It's a 1080p IPS panel with great viewing angles and although it doesn't have the most accurate colors, it's nice and bright even under direct sunlight. LG has also managed to squeeze in a big 15.6 inch display with incredibly thin bezels. I mean, they're not as thin compared to the Dell XPS 15 lineup, but they're pretty damn close. I love the fact that LG added a touchscreen. I can't begin to explain how convenient it was when using the laptop. If you're like me and hate carrying around your mouse with your laptop, or even just hate using a touchpad, then you're definitely gonna appreciate the touchscreen option. It eliminates the need for a mouse. It was so convenient dragging boxes, zooming in and scrolling through pages while I was working on the notes for my next Setup Wars video. I mean, you do get fingerprints on a display, which by the way has a glossy finish, but if you're looking for a truly portable laptop, a touchscreen display is definitely a nice feature to have. The camera gets you 720p recording at 30fps, however it is located right on the hinge because of the super thin bezel. So it kind of looks like you're looking over the laptop if you're looking directly at the screen, which is kind of weird. The low light is very grainy, so I recommend switching on some lights if you're going to use it at night. The speakers are located on the bottom of the laptop and they are both firing outwards, and the quality is pretty bad. Then again, I don't know what laptop actually has decent sounding speakers. However, the Gram 15 does have DTS Headphone X, which is short for Digital Theater System, which makes up for the crappy speakers. The audio sounds so much better and crisp from plugging in the headphones through the jack. Now let's talk about the keyboard. The most notable change from last year is that now the keys are backlit, finally. You get two brightness modes and the option to completely turn them off if needed. This was definitely a huge issue for me last year because I use my laptop a lot at nighttime. It's also really comfortable typing on the keyboard with my large hands. The touchpad is positioned perfectly so that my hands don't get in the way and accidentally touch it, which is kind of hard to find on a laptop. The keys are nicely spaced, have a very short travel distance when pressed, and offer great feedback. Another great addition to the Gram 15 is the numpad, and even though it's pretty cramped to the side, I much prefer this over not having it. The only real complaint I have about the keyboard is that the numlock doesn't have an LED indicator, so I don't know if it's pressed or not. 
not, which is a bit inconvenient. The trackpad, on the other hand, is pretty accurate and very sensitive. I didn't experience any lag or stutter from scrolling through pages, and the taps and clicks register every time, so I have no complaints there. And finally, productivity. Surprisingly, I was able to edit 4K video on my Vegas Pro 14 with some slight stutter, but I had to put the laptop in high performance mode, which by the way, uses up a lot more battery and it does get pretty warm. However, rendering will take a while, especially if it's in 4K resolution. It took me about 10 minutes to render out a simple 30 second 4K file, so I wouldn't work on any large projects on this laptop, unless it's 1080p, I think that is much more manageable. And then we got gaming. Obviously it's not a gaming laptop, but if you must game, CSGO and Overwatch is playable in the lowest settings in 1080p, which will get you around 30 FPS, if you consider that playable that is. But if you lower the resolution to 720p, you can get over 60. Once again, I don't recommend this laptop for gaming, but if you must, light games like these are definitely possible in low settings. The LG Ground 15 has made some major improvements over its predecessor, and if you're looking for an extremely portable and lightweight laptop with a giant screen and a long battery life that will get you through a full days of use, then I strongly recommend this laptop for you. In fact, I've already replaced my previous laptop and this is now my main driver. I'll drop a link to it down below if anyone is interested in checking it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.